Okay, so quick preface before this video starts. Um, I sound like this because I am currently getting over a sickness. Uh, I've been sick for the majority of the weekend, and now it's Sunday. Um, it started with a sore throat, you know, a bunch of coughing. Um, and now for the most part, I would say I'm at least 90% better. Um, I streamed, which didn't really help my case, but I also didn't stream for about, I think maybe two weeks straight uh, this month or this month so far. And this interview had to happen now uh, because I've been letting my nerves get the best of me and, you know, just so starstruck and so happy. I did not want to bother our guest. And I, yeah, took shot my shot. And here we are today. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video again. I am so sorry about my voice. Fortunately, I can't do anything to turn back time and fix this or, you know, move time forward. Um, I'm so happy. So if this video feels over edited or there's a lot of cuts, a lot of pauses, it is because I am muting myself. So I'm not coughing in her ear. That is super disrespectful and super nasty. Um, and also, so I'm not clearing my throat in her ear. So I hope you guys just understand and that's basically it. So enjoy the video. Okay, so yeah. viewers, bear with me. I'm still trying to gather myself, but I am joined with one of the most iconic, and I had legendary type here, but I replaced it with iconic women who has given me so much serotonin and confidence and happiness. She's the voice of Lisa from Genshin Impact, which I have not played, but I might start now. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna crack up. She's Sindel from the Mortal Kombat universe, uh, an old time, an old time, an old childhood favorite of mine, and more recently Shula from uh, Arcane, which this script, like I said, is old, like that's recent, and my favorite Evelyn. <laughs> so everybody give it up for the one and only Marduno. I, yeah, the way that I wish there was studio applause here. <laughs> I know. Like we've just now we've we've spoken now for like roughly ten minutes already, so I'm right. still like processing, and I'm so happy that you're here. I told you off camera, and uh, I'm gonna tell you again. Thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it, and I adore you so much. Uh, thank you so much. It is absolutely my pleasure. I'm happy that I could join you today. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> also, like I said in the preface to this video, to you guys uh, getting over a sickness, enjoy the husky voice, the masculine voice while we got it. Um, so when you commented on my reaction video, first of all, I didn't expect you to ever, ever view it. Um, so when you did, I was like half asleep for work. I work 6P to 6A. So I was knocked oh, out. God. And I like rolled over and I like checked my phone and I saw your name and I was like, oh, whatever. Then I like rolled back over. I was like, wait a damn minute. <laughs> wait a second. What? And I was just wide awake until I had to go to work. I was smiling like all night. Oh, that makes me so happy. It blew my mind out. And then like you, like I said, you were on my Twitter. You hopped into uh, my Instagram and I was like, oh my. God, we're practically like best friends now. This is everything. Right. <laughs> no, so, I had to let you know. You you just made my day. When I saw your video, I mean, my hubby and I were cracking up, and I was like, this is amazing. I love him. Oh, like I messaged my friend. I was like, I want her to just I feel like I feel like she's a like a parental figure. I want her to put my video on the fridge right now. I want her to staple it to the fridge. And this is what I did. This is what I did. <laughs> so <laughs> God, that is so like a heart warming and oh god this has been a crazy year yeah I'm yes still it shaking. Has. very, oh, very crazy. crazy like this script well I'm, I'm gonna keep saying it. it's not like people don't know i'm already disorganized this script like i said is i think like i said from our first twitter interaction i went to work like immediately typing this up and <laughs> like of course now it's a wee bit more updated kind of not um, but just things have been so crazy in the world lately. And this little yeah. beacon of joy makes the entire difference. And again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Like, it's, it's amazing to know that I can bring a little light, you know, when I can. That's that's my goal every day. So mm -hmm. that, that means a lot to me. 
You definitely do. Uh, like I asked a few of my other um, friends and viewers, uh, a, l- a few special Eve mains, if they had questions for you, they were also very happy. And they also say thank you. Um, Aww. And I know they're also going to flip the hell out when this goes up, which actually may go up tonight because I'm super excited and I want to show. Um, so the reason I called you here was... Uh, this has kind of been a dream of mine. You know, it's a lot less likely for us to yeah. meet your stereotypical celebrities. So you voice actors, actors and uh, voice actresses are our typical celebrities. And I've always right. wanted to do one. And I'm so happy you were my first one. Um, hopefully not the last, but I'm very happy you're the first. Like, I love oh. your character so much. <laughs> Like, yeah. so, so much. I get, like, I, I think it was a little bit of a roast uh, in a previous video some time ago uh, about the claws that I have, uh, which technically <laughs> came before I discovered Eve. They, It was, like, Gaga and American Horror Story. It was Catwoman, a little low gay me at, at a young age. Um, so yeah. So, everybody's like well it's kind of fitting that she's your favorite i'm like i love her i love everything about your character how did you develop this character who she is now because the old oh. eve i would not have played her this your eve, really oh god what are what do you find are the big differences because i was not a league player before <laughs> you know uh, before this opportunity arose and so yeah i'm i'm fascinated to kind of know for people who've been you know long time league players or long time fans of eve kind of mm-hmm. what sort of differences do you see now i'm in, look at me i'm interviewing you i'm telling you this is going to be me interviewing you the whole time i'm so inquisitive it's, <laughs> but well, i am curious like what do you love about this iteration of eve versus <laughs> what she was before Okay, well, I've only been playing League, I think, just now going on two years. And at first, I played Diana, I played Ari, and I think a lot of us Eve mains actually started out with the same, like, champion pool. So, when I was playing Diana, there was, I just know that when that heart popped above my head, get the hell out of town, like, you need to go. You were going to die, and I never saw what I died to. It was... Like, I was still learning the game and everything was so complicated. So I'm like, what am I doing right. to? And right. I kept looking. I was like, I don't like I typed in team chat. I don't I don't remember what exactly I said, but it was pretty explicit. And I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm dying to. But can someone please help me? And they're like, can you, they were just like explaining it to me. So after that game, I was like, who the hell is Evelyn? And from there, it was just like a whole new world of. Yeah gore and agony and everything like i have to vibe with the character's lore personally so i can you know try to perform my best and i know a lot of people are going to find that weird and i don't care but it helped me perform and it helped me climb a little bit in ranked games so yeah the lore for her i've actually run across three versions her old she had two versions of uh lore where she was like some assassin for hire, which was before you. And yeah, I, I like, I skimmed it. I'm not going to lie. Cause like I said, I did not care for that version of Eve. There was nothing right. and uh, no shade to the actress. There was nothing like seductive or fun about her or, uh, and shade to riot. Um, there, there was no, like, there was no visual like thing about her that made me want to play her. Now, She's hot now. Like, she is fire. She is hot. Your voice is literally the icing on the cake. They did such a good job with the rework. And yeah, after, yeah, like yeah. I said, that game, it was like, dive into her, learn her. I vibe with her. And I'm not sure if that's a good, good thing or a bad thing. But I vibe with the lore, the tallest daisy. It was a great yeah. story. And it was like, uh, pieces of that I can actually take, of course, without, you know, the killing. Um, I can take oh, pieces of it. Yeah. <laughs> I can take pieces of that and run with it because I can relate to the, eh, and my interpretation of it is like not being satisfied with men, <laughs> not being satisfied yeah. with the hunger and, you know, never being full of 
what you're trying to get out of a person. So you did an right. excellent job with this rework. The rework is everything. She is so playable. Yeah. She's so fun. She's so powerful. And it's very nice to watch higher ELO players bitch about Eve when there's when she's actually really easy to counter just by placing, you know, vision. She's not hard to counter. But okay. you did a phenomenal, phenomenal job with her. Like staple. Like everything Thank in you. Ellis in your career, I love this takes the cake. <laughs> Like I adore her so much. She's awesome. Isn't she she really is one of my favorite characters to play. I mean, mm -hmm. I remember my God, I was just looking through my old emails to see when I first auditioned for her. It was in March of 2017. Oh my um goodness. Yeah. And I remember when I first got the audition script and I kind of saw some of the references that they, that Riot was interested in kind of using as archetypes. I was kind of like, huh, this is interesting because at first I was worried that it was just kind of, that Eve's character was just kind of all going to come down to, how do I put this politely? Like, I just didn't want her to just be some basic bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah. I did not want her to be some just slutty, you know what I mean? With no dimension. I, I had no interest in that. But when Riot, um, you know, gave me the notes uh, about her character, you know, they said they really wanted to move away from the cliche pr uh, portrayals of sexuality and gaming. They said she is a demon first and foremost. And that is, you know, what her primary identity is. You know, yeah. her being this fantasy is kind of just the bait for her victims of any gender, you know, yeah. a lot of people don't even know. Like Eve doesn't even have genitalia, you know. Exactly. So, <laughs> so she's not as sexual as some people like to think. That is more a means to an end to feed off of the pain of others. And I was like, now that is something I can sink my teeth into, so to speak. <laughs> yes. That's when I was like, I'm in. Yeah. It was a heated debate between me and a friend of mine, or an ex friend, actually about oh. if uh what was the debate it was about if if eve identified as female or male or in between because technically there's no genitalia and she you know she takes the form of what that uh, like the op the opposing party would like be into so right. if there like if there was a bisexual woman she may stay female if there was like a gay man she just happened to find hot or whatever right you know maybe she could take on the facade of a gay man so what do you think? My well, I mean, I'm biased being, mm -hmm. you know, bisexual, non-binary myself. So I would like to think that that's Eve. That's how I'm, you know, kind of bringing that energy. But yeah, you know, I think I really do think Eve is is whatever Eve wants to be. Right. Um. You know, I think at the end of the day, it's about whatever it takes to get that victim lured in. Exactly. Um, okay. That's my interpretation. <laughs> that's not like an official statement. So. <laughs> It may not be official, but the voice actress holds a, holds a decent amount of power. Riot is hold the rest of the power. So I'm just going to take yours and I'm going to run with it. Um, I think that is perfectly fine to, uh, to uh, I guess, identify her as. So Absolutely. I will 100% take that. <laughs> well, let's see. Yeah, that's really the energy I'm bringing to it. Eve is, Eve is pansexual, mm -hmm. you know, bisexual. We'll try sexual. She's Eve's she's just all about of the flags in one. She's everything you want to be, want to be. She's yeah. nothing specific. Oh, that's actually yeah. really good to think about. I like that. Right. She has something. For she's a little more complicated that way. I feel <laughs> you know, and and I think it just it opens up a, a lot more dimension to who she mm. is. Or they. I like Ooh. it. So when <laughs> they brought you back for Coven, first of all. I'm pretty sure Riot had like a bunch of gays like beating the hell out of their door. Like we want whenever they released the first line of Coven, we were like, why the hell is Eve not in that? She's like literal darkness and would fit so well. So when they like released her concept video during the KDA All Out era and we saw snakes, we we're like, you know, a lot of us in this community, we tend to overthink and we tend to overlook. So we were like, well... Yeah. Is that like a teaser? Is she going to be in the next Coven line? Just doing the absolute most. So when I got on Twitter that day, the actual, actually the day I filmed the reaction video, it was full of like mentions. Oh my God, Eve got this. Oh my God, Eve got that. And I'm like, y'all are 
y'all are bullshitting me. No, she didn't. Riot don't love us that much. They, I saw the uh, the skin spotlight video of all the new skins being released, and it got to yours, and I was like, like freaking <laughs> out. We wanted her in the coven line for so well, like for so long, because the last yeah. one or whatever. And to hear your voice come back, I was just like, they kept the original voice actors. They didn't just like replace her with some random to try to get us like by. And most Thank gaming God. franchises do that and it's not it's not fun they'll replace i've heard like that i don't understand why they would do that it seems to me it'd be easier to stick with the horse you got but i have heard exactly. that which is interesting to me. it's yeah it's crazy i'm like just please just keep her around don't run her off please like riot please so erica lindbeck the voice of margotta uh to leave yeah uh i think zoe as well she in my opinion, set the bar for what the Coven line should have sounded like as far as like other uh, lines that are coming out. Um, yeah. She is technically Which the I queen didn't of... get to hear when I did mine, by the way. I didn't get to hear anybody else's line, if you're curious. Really? You did? No, no. I you mean, I'm sure great. it, was, you did it might have been out there. I should have done more homework, but mm -hmm. no, I did not. I did not re re reference anybody else in the I'm Coven shocked. world. I'm shocked yeah. because I would I would think Ryan would like try to keep some kind of flow and, you know, say, well, this is what we got so far and this is what we need you to continue. I don't remember that happening. I mean, they just kind of, you know, wanted Evelyn to, to do what Evelyn does. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to really remember. I mean, I feel like it wasn't too long ago that we did the recording session. It was definitely this year, obviously. Um, it came up pretty fast, all things considered, compared to other things we've done in the past. But um yeah, no, we definitely didn't have any other reference lines. Um, it just happened to the stars aligned and, mm -hmm. and they kind of lined up well together, I guess, you know? In the coven lore, Morgana is the queen, but like, and I love Erica too. I, I adore her work as well. After yeah. After hearing yeah. yours and, you know, me being the biased Eve main that I am, I was like, can we replace Morgana just like for a few months, please? <laughs> you could have easily taken that spot because i i said this in the reaction video the voice was just like so powerful your voice lines and the delivery of them were so powerful and i don't know how else to yeah. say it i am Thanks. infatuated with your voice and i know that sounds very weird but no, it does. I am, <laughs> I, I i'm am, a voice actor i hope you're infatuated like i Download it. Oh, God, I'm exposing too much. I'm going to get dragged in my comment section. No, I downloaded. No, I downloaded your, um, I, the skin spotlight video that I reacted to with your voice lines. Yeah. I downloaded it and put it on my phone because, <laughs> oh, God. Like, I put it on my phone and I've done that with a lot of things Evelyn related because, out, like, I hate going outside. I hate the public. I really do. Um, yeah. So whenever I'm in a mood, I listen to your voice lines from that skin line or even the bass ones because I'm like, okay, I am not trapped in this whatever space I'm in long. I can go home. I can go play and just, you know, rewind and recharge. So I probably well, have... <laughs> that's, like, that's like, that's so good to hear, really, because I, I have to tell you, I mean... And I know this may sound weird coming from, you know, an actor who plays a character like Eve, but really when I <laughs> got in, when I decided to do this full time mm -hmm. a little over 13 years ago, I think it was 08, um, when I said, I'm going to go for this, I got out of being a radio DJ and I said, I'm going to try this voice acting thing. I, it was kind of part of my mission statement that I wanted to do work that because I'm very introverted. People that have no idea. Like, you should have seen me during the Eve recording sessions. Like, mm -hmm. I literally, I'm like orgasming on the mic. And then the second they're cutting, I'm like, was that okay? <laughs> it's just like, it's a night day. Like, when I'm in the character, I shape shift. I am in it. But once, yes. you know, it's, off, it's, I am, you know, people, people assume I'm a much more extroverted person than I am. But, um, you know, I'm really not. But I, I wanted to reach people on a very grand scale in a way that would help people. You know, at the end of the day, I wanted to do things that would inspire people, that would empower people. Mm -hmm. um, and it's 
especially, um, you know, just more empowering female characters. You know, uh, I, I know growing up, I didn't have a lot of role models, uh, especially ones that look like me, you know, yeah. that I could really look up to, you know, I liked Wonder Woman and, and, you know, there, there's a few others, but, you know, we just didn't have a lot to hold on to. And I know yeah. how important it is to have an archetype or a character or something that just gives you that inspiration that you can be empowered, that you can be strong, that you can yeah. deal with the deepest depths of darkness that you might <laughs> be facing. Those are the sort of intentions that I have when I come to the mic. And so to hear you say things like that, it really means a lot more than you know, because that really is, I go in with those intentions. And so to hear that it's kind of being perceived that way, um, it just means the world. I'm so glad to hear that I can be an inspiration in any way. I absolutely adore every monocle and molecule of what you've done for her like i said a complete like a complete 180 from the original and yeah the voice uh line video is 10 minutes and 57 seconds uh well the one they released because i know they took out the uh the uh the latin lines like the, the yeah i don't yeah. even know if those were latin lines those are like oh. lines from like like all of those words are like words from from uh, the wiccan religion um oh. Oh. which i, I, I remember mentioning religion <laughs> yeah yeah i i i you know i i'm actually you know i i, I practice myself and so i i was interested when i saw the words i was saying i'm like like oh the hecate and and this and <laughs> yeah. that and i'm like, wonder why they got cut i to be honest i i read in in the comments of 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 the videos that suddenly it was cut and i'm like i don't i don't know what happened with that nobody let me know like what the deal was too. i saw some different theories i don't know if you saw anything but i didn't look too deep into it because when the skin when like the video i reacted to had had those in there and yeah the, uh the one uh the one that i have on my phone doesn't and i didn't realize that until maybe maybe a month ago, I was like, wait a minute, there was like other lines that came before the, I want yes. to feel the line. I was like, where did those go? And I didn't yeah. notice that they got cut, but I kind of wish they would have yeah. kept them. I really wish they would have kept them actually. I Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what happened with that. I do know when it comes to Riot, I mean, like the US is not even Riot's biggest fan base i think it's south korea um and there's a lot of other countries yeah. that where, where league ranks a whole lot higher in terms of you know players and things like that and so there's there can be cultural issues and i know they do have different e voices yep. across countries so i'm not always sure how what we do in the u.s translates overseas because i know sometimes they have their own versions but i think sometimes that affects what lines stay in and what doesn't um and that's all i can assume is maybe that's what happened or maybe they just, just I, I don't I don't know I, I would only be guessing but yeah I did see that 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 happened they recently censored your original splash art I don't remember what country it was for but uh, uh they like gave her more shadow around like her belly button area in the original splash art and I was like interesting we can still kind of see her boobs y'all didn't really censor that much y'all took away the belly button um, so that I was on the way home from a trip when I got that message, I was like, I don't notice the difference, but it's weird. I, right. I, so I do understand that they, weird. yeah, the different, the difference in like cultural issues, uh, yeah. like in the past with like the mafia line, um, which is now, I guess, crime city, if I remember correctly. So I get it. I don't know anything about this. What, what happened there? There was, uh, I, and, and don't quote me too hard. There was, um. <laughs> A, there was an issue with uh, a certain skin line being offensive to a certain, and I hope I'm using this correctly, culture, um, mm. which I'm assuming is something related to Italians uh, and the stereotype of, you know, mafias oh. and gangs and things. So they redid oh. certain aspects of certain skins and just renamed it Crime City instead of okay, because Misfortune skin was mafia misfortune or something like that and now it's crime oh scene or crime Weird. boss or something like that so it was not the first time and it probably won't be the last time but whatever right. protects their uh their money and you know people's feelings also which it, there's nothing wrong with that 
I say they should right. do it because you don't want to lose like you know player base that you've had for a while. So I get it. Exactly. It's it's, it's hard because you know when you're trying when you have a vision of something and you know you want something to go a certain way, but then of mm -hmm. course you want to please the fan yep. base, and then you gotta the politics involved and the investors yep. and yada yada yeah, it can be yep. a whole thing. So. Yeah, I I'm kind of glad I don't deal with what happens behind the scenes with all of that. I just show up when the script is ready. <laughs> do you do it? Make your, that. Do you do it from your house, or do they like fly you somewhere to do it? Because I assume well, you I have live a in studio. LA. Yeah, I I do. I have I have a nice complete home studio. I've had that for most of my career. Um, I mean, I got started in a small town in Louisiana, you know, so I didn't have access to studios on every corner like they do here in LA. So I had to start with a home studio, but um, which has come in handy, obviously, since mm -hmm. the pandemic. Um, oh yeah. But I recorded the original Evelyn lines. I did record those in studio. Um, some were recorded at an outside studio and I actually did some things uh, on Riot, at Riot headquarters, which was really cool to get to go there. It's oh. such a crazy, awesome mm -hmm. campus. They have really cool stuff there. Um, like James Cameron's old screening room for Jurassic Park. And I think really? they, they yeah, their campus also has like the same screening room that uh, George Lucas first screened Star Wars. It's crazy. Wow. It's, it's like nuts. Empire Strikes Back, it's something like that. Like the light switches turn on yeah. and you hear like the lightsaber noise. It's hilarious. Um, I want to go. But for the things, I did those from home. I did Ooh. the Coven Lines from the studio. Oh my. Uh, yeah. That's actually really cool. I like automatically assume they yeah. like pull you guys from your towns and like take you somewhere. And, but I was like, no. hey, I know she has a studio in her house. So it wouldn't necessarily yeah. make sense if she can give the same quality at home. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, it used to be that, you know, nine times out of 10, they want you in studio if there's a, a, you know, a local project here in LA. But after, you know, since COVID, we've had to all, all adapt. And so everybody's doing Zoom this, Zoom that, and, and, you know, Microsoft Teams this. And I mean, it feels like everybody's got a different platform. Like Disney uses something called Blue G. Like everybody uses a different platform, but we're all doing video, recording from our home studios, and then just sending the audio. Like basically an engineer will record us from their end and they record a version that may not be quite as high fidelity as what we're recording because we're recording a backup on our end from our home studio. And then we send the backup. And I think ultimately our backup is what they use because that's the highest quality. Oh. Um, but in case there's any flubs because we're not technically recording studio engineers and we're supposed to be the actors focusing on our performances and not on recording in case anything happens they're recording backups but okay. yeah okay. that's kind of how it works yeah, we make the magic happen long distance right now and so it's, <laughs> it's nuts things are opening back up which is still weird to me because every everything i'm reading is saying the delta variant is getting worse but yet everybody's opening up so i i don't know I but am rolling with now, <laughs> i got my vaccination i am I'm just following rules at this point. Same. Yeah. <laughs> when I went to Madison's same. concert the other night. They were like, have your ID and your vaccination card or be prepared to show that you've been like negative or prepare to be COVID tested. I'm like, I got it right here. Right. Please don't put that right. in my nose. <laughs> like, I, I got it on my that for work. Yeah. Yeah. So back to totally. the voice lines. Um, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off there. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I got to okay. remember that there's a delay with Discord. So I may think I you're know. finished and Discord's like, wait, she's still going. <laughs> so no, um, totally fine. they cut um, the Strix, the Ostara, the Hakati lines. And on my phone, it shows that the one that I have now is like 10 minutes and 57 seconds. And I yeah. listened to that to that set of voice lines 69 times now that's just on my phone and i know that's a very awkward number but just on my phone alone not even from like my desktop or anything like that i've listened to it 69 times and and i know you don't necessarily have much to do with the the uh, kda aspect of eve they still use your yeah. old voice lines and that's more madison's territory um yeah as far as the passive music Oh God, uh, how many times have I listened to that? <laughs> like I sleep <laughs> to Eve's passive music in that skin. Wow. Like, it, is, it is that good. And wow. it is, uh, oh God, I've listened to it 340 times and the playback wow. on it is an hour. So I've listened to well over 340 hours of her passive music. 
And I wow. know I'm going to get dragged in the comments for that. I'm not mad at it. It is a peaceful tune to sleep to. It is so <laughs> nice. It's not loud. And it's very sinister. So Right. You have, like, that's what I mean when I say I, Yeah. When I say I love everything about your character, I mean that. <laughs> I, I absolutely mean that. Um, well, Riot is amazing. I mean, they they put so much work into. Oh, yeah. I mean, as as you can probably see, if you watched Arcane yes, at all, I mean, yes. they will. I may not care. I like. I love League. Uh, lately, it's become a little bit stale, but Riot will make sure they give a damn good performance in like live performances. Now, Arcane uh, Eve's concept video was so good. Um, they do a really good job with like production and. Uh, and it's weird because I really don't praise Riot that much. I like I, I praise them. I praise them more now because they added you to the uh, to the Coven line, and that's like my go to skin when I play. Um, but I was Aww. mad at them for like a long time. I was like, can they they just like miss that opportunity? But I love them now. We're on good terms. <laughs> See, it just goes to show you never know what's in the works. They yeah. they were probably doing this the whole time. Like that <laughs> release. Like that release just cured everything wrong with the world <laughs> that release was like a, a pivotal point and now like their other skins it's like they're getting better with like making so, yeah let me quit praising them and get back to you i want to talk more about you um so you, you had that question earlier about uh the cinder lines oh yeah spoiler alert she's not the voice of cindra and that was like mind-blowing can you ex re-explain that for them Yes, yeah. So I, I too have seen that a lot of people are like, "Oh, Cinder is Mara Juno," and it's. I'm like, "No, no." What I, from what I understand, um, because I don't know a lot about the original Eve actress, but when I was doing my homework, um, when I first was auditioning for the opportunity to possibly play her, um, <laughs> I, I heard the original lines, and I saw a lot of people commenting then that the original Eve did that actress who has. I, I think she's remained anonymous for most of the time. I think somebody revealed her name somewhere on Reddit or something, but for the most part, and so I'm certainly not going to try to expose who it was if she doesn't want to be known, but um, from what I understand, that actress did, for the original Eve, did also do Syndra. Now, has Syndra been reworked as well? Or is do you know if that's the original voice lines from the I same time? I think those too? might be the original. Um, I, I'll, okay. I tried to play her at one point, but I couldn't dive into her lore like I wanted to. So she's on the back burner. Um, I think I, that's where the confusion came from then, yeah. Uh -huh. It was very, because, I was like, like I said, I could kind of see it, but I needed 100% yeah. proof that it was and or was not. And here's the living proof yeah. right here. She's right not, here, yeah. I, I have not done anything related to Syndra. No, that, that was definitely so the original actor. I thought, yeah. like, I was like scouring. I was like on Reddit. I was on like these old archives that I could, of course, find that are <laughs> open and legal to the public before I get dragged. Right. Um, I was just like, okay, like, are we sure it's her? Are we sure it's not her? Like, who is yeah. it? And so I understand the remaining anonymous because I can't find a name for her anywhere. So I get it 100%. She's like yeah. a ghost that like Sindra is kind of all we have to go off of. Uh, yeah, if it is the original lines, I think that's probably why she's remaining anonymous is because mm -hmm. it would tie her to being Eve. And mm -hmm. I can understand why someone like I didn't I did not tell the public that I was Eve for probably. Maybe at least two years, maybe why? more. We love your character. I love her, too. But I mean, you know how the industry can be, especially mm -hmm. with women. You know, yeah, and she yes. is a very provocative character. Uh -huh. And I'm like, oh, I'm not trying to deal with some crazy DMs and, and people trying to come to my house and get a date or something. You know, oh what people, you so know, have, like, have you ever been asked if you and go, oh God, forgive me. I feel like, oh, God, I'm going to go to hell for this. Do you <laughs> have you ever been asked if you have pulled like this is a question also so i'm gonna just go ahead and ask it have you ever yeah. pulled random voice lines from any of your characters just out to be like funny or you know just in, at random like just like at a party or something and just anything like, like if you're making coffee you just like some rituals require a more intimate connection like just at random 
<laughs> Sometimes, but usually not really. <laughs> you mean to tell me I do it like, more I, than you? <laughs> oh, you absolutely do it more than me. I can promise you that. Oh, no. my God. I, <laughs> I kind of like when I'm in the character and I'm like in the session, I'm like a hundred percent. Like it really is sort of like I'm climbing into somebody else's skin. Yeah. And then once that's over, I'm kind of, you know, I'm back to me <laughs> and I'm not really there. I'm on to the next thing, which is always something else. So I don't do a lot. Like I'm still getting used to this whole idea of people even recognizing my name or, you know, calling me a celebrity. I just feel like it's so you weird to me. I'm like, are you all right, I'm gonna need you to accept it. Anytime you tweet, I'm like, let me show the utmost respect. <laughs> like, I appreciate it, but I do not feel that way at all. So the whole thing is mm -hmm. weird. So when people ask me to like say character lines, like, cause I get that a lot. I mean, like every day I'm getting DMs like, oh, could you say this in, in Eve's voice. Could you say this in Sindel's voice order? And I'm just going like, why? And I, and I <laughs> it's stupid. It's so stupid because I totally get it. Like I love when I see other voice actors do characters that I love, but I can't, it's literally because I cannot process that somebody would see me as like remotely important. I'm like, why yeah. would you? <laughs> so yeah, so no, honestly, yeah. that's how I feel too. I, I feel that 100%. It's like, she is looking at little old me. What the hell? No. <laughs> So I I'm like the same way. at random, like, oh God, oh God, I'm exposing so much uh, at random. Like, like I work, I'm a nurse's aide, I, which is also very strange from the dynamic I put online. I am a nurse's How aide. How has that and, been since oh, last year? My God. You, you don't even want to know. It's been hell. Ew. Not to get oh. like depressing, but I, I used to work yeah. on our Alzheimer's unit. And we have, yeah. uh, if I can remember correctly, roughly 10, if not maybe 12 residents back there. And we lost a good bunch of them to COVID. So that mm. was a mental trip. I lost my aunt. Uh, she had I'm... complications last year and COVID didn't help. So yeah. it was, it's, it's crazy in healthcare. And yeah. there, like I am also pro vaccination, but I'm also pro do whatever the hell you want with your body. I Absolutely. See, Same. Yeah. And not to get like super political because I've stepped away a lot from politics lately. It's a mental headache. Yeah, um, that's crazy. It's disheartening to see a bunch of like nurses and even nurses that I work with downplay the progress we've made from last year to this point because right. the new uh, regulation is it uh, yeah insurrection or whatever the word is um, yeah. So in healthcare is not a cakewalk. It's hard as hell. I was in a uh, a hazmat suit for the majority of last year. And I just started the job I'm at now. I had just started it right when COVID kicked off. So get certified, wow. you know, go work a little bit and then boom, thrown into a pandemic. It's it wow. Fun. <laughs> so that luckily, is easy. there was a guy on YouTube who edited your, <laughs> your original <laughs> voice lines with your, uh, with Eve. I keep saying your, but you know what I mean? Your, um, yeah. Uh, the uh, the champion music, which I've also listened yeah. to, yeah, Mount, it's, it's awesome. I love it. Ryan did a good job. Um, so yeah. whenever I was trapped on the unit for like you know twelve hours at all, uh, every like four days, um, that's what I was playing in my AirPods. <laughs> like I was just like, <laughs> I am I am here for twelve hours. I am not here for the rest of my life. Let me get out of here and go home. So yeah, your yeah. your voice and your presence online, which I it gave it uh, just a wonder, like a wonderful thing to have. <laughs> I'm stumbling, Jesus. Mm. <laughs> it is, it was, it was really great. Um, I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, I, I can't imagine 12 hours a day of, of that. It, and the it's been hell. Working with the elderly is so cute and this and that. And sometimes it is, but it, it really yeah. ain't all that. Like, if I could choose another <laughs> profession, I probably would. But um, yeah, it pays well. <laughs> yeah, it does pay well, right? Yeah, it pays really well. Where yeah. Was I? I forgot where I was. Oh, I rambled I too long. No, I rambled too long. Uh, touching on what you said about whenever you go to record and you hop into someone's skin, the yeah. uh, voice actress for Widowmaker on Overwatch, Chloe Hollings, she 
conducted an interview. Well, uh, one of her, one of the guys who mains her character conducted a interview with her years ago in Paris with her. I thought that was cool. Yeah. As hell. I was like, I want to do that. Um, and she said the same thing. Like, she's also like really reserved. So she was like, yeah. oh, when, whenever I was recording, I was like in thigh high boots and I'm like gripping the microphone, <laughs> trying to be like super sexy. And whenever it was over, I was like, was that good? Like, it was so <laughs> cute how you guys like feel that way. So it's true. It's really <laughs> true. Like, I just, I, it's, it's, yeah, I just don't know any, any, any other way to put it. I mean, obviously there's an, there's a part of, my personality that comes out for the character to make it come to life right so it's not as if it's just completely made up or whatever but yeah once once i'm in it i'm i'm there and then yeah. once i'm out it's on the shelf and i think that's part of why i did not reveal eve right away too is because i just so many people cannot separate the two you know you just you see how so many i mean I mean, who was it? I think it was Laura Bailey just recently was getting death threats on her on her newborn child because somebody didn't like the ending of The Last of Us. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, some people are crazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're just nuts with some people. They cannot separate the difference. And so I was like, I don't want people thinking I'm really, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> because, not, you know, and so I honestly, it, it took a while. And I remember... Um, one of the riot team members was tweeting about me like not all, long after her release because he was just so excited mm -hmm. and proud of the work and he wanted to publicly celebrate me because Aww. he didn't see me tension and i was like that's so sweet but i was trying to hide <laughs> she, she, was she was level so six already she was level six she was invisible you you revealed her all too like too early <laughs> oh that's <laughs> sweet though bless his heart no i know it is just but honestly when I when it I did finally kind of start, you know, I don't even know how I finally did it. I'm sure it was really quietly like putting up some wallpapers on Twitter or something. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm very passive aggressive in my marketing. I'm not sort of like big announce person. Like I'll like retweet things and like quietly put up pictures, but I don't do a lot of like look at me. So, I think I've so, seen one TikTok you did relating to Eve, and I was like, one. that's all. <laughs> But I completely, like, I, I'm not bad. Like, I 100% get it. I do get like, it. Like, doing voices. Like, and, like, I know what, that's what the fans want. So I'm working on it, you guys. I, <laughs> this year, I have gotten better. I started a cameo channel because so many people were like, you know, oh, can I get you to say this and say that? And some people were asking me to say all kinds of things. And yeah. I'm like, I might as well get paid for this. So <laughs> uh, Yeah, because secure the extra bag while you can. I get it. I was like, I like, I will like, I say your voice, like your voice lines, like I'll say at random or again, exposing far too much. Like I'll be like on the way to work and I'm just trying to keep my mental together. So I don't like flip the hell out on someone and yeah. walk out and yeah. lose my job. Um, right. So I'll just like randomly, like, I'll listen to the skin spotlight video and, you know, keep, keep me calm and zen. And you have also taught me like how to speak more clearly. Like I have, I have buck teeth. You can't really see because the filter gives me ten points in the beauty department. But I have buck teeth. I have an overbite, and like I will, I'm like, okay, I can see she's hitting every single syllable and like every like T, every S, every slur, every you know something that drags on. And I'm like, I yeah, need to speak clearly. So you've helped <laughs> me in the speaking department, really. <laughs> it's amazing because I feel like in real life I'm the most Especially like for for like my my closest friends who really really know me. I feel like I have a million voices number one. But for people who <laughs> really really know me, especially my friends from the south, mm -hmm. I feel like I have the most blurry, unintelligible, like down the bayou voice as we call it. Yeah. Like I just feel like you would you probably wouldn't even understand me if I just talk the way I talk when I'm just sitting in my jammies on the couch. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to hear that my diction changes that much, but hopefully it doesn't sound it like does. too prim and proper over the top. No, uh, I don't think Eve can be prim and proper. <laughs> it's really. like, like there was one line you're like, um, ah, shit, and it's one of my favorites. Now I sound like a fake fan. Uh, let's see, what's a <laughs> random one? Uh, I feel their looks like hot breath. They feel my claws like hot knives. 
I will repeat yeah. that just so I can like not like trip over my own tongue, if that makes any sense. Um, like a like a um a, like we do like a, a, what a, a tongue twister or yeah. a vocal warm up. Yeah. yeah. I so yeah. I'm like she's helping me like speak better. So I, I clearly I'm not insane for listening to this on repeat literally all day. I'll be on stream yeah. and I'll say something because you know in Eve's lore she killed Vane's parents. Uh, which some in, in some aspects really doesn't make sense tying into like other lore and other aspects. But if Ryan yeah. says so, I'm gonna go with it. Um, right. Like I'll right say there. something really snarky, like on stream to like whoever the Bane is. I'm like, ah, ah shit, God, now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> um, <laughs> Please. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Or just It'll something come. in general. Like, I will... Oh, oh, I made a video out of it. It was um, a little unholy ritual as a treat. And I'll just say that almost after... Like, after almost every kill, I'm like, God, I am losing my mind. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I, your voice lines are powerful and impeccable. <laughs> Thank you. They Thank really you. are. You packed a big-ass punch with these voice lines. God, I've only asked yeah. like three questions from this script. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was like, I'm sorry. I, no, no, no. Because I, I told you, I was like, I'm not gonna take up the like all of your time. I mean, I'm really trying not to. Um, no, so we've already asked... I, I, I don't want to do what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Which oh, is am like, I keeping you from something? No, I trust me. I'm keeping myself. I'm supposed to be. Do, I'm supposed to be like. Balancing checkbooks and and depositing things and invoicing and stupid things that I should learn how to delegate to somebody else, but I don't. So yeah, every Sunday it's just like, do I want to sit and do work or do I want to watch Netflix? And usually Netflix wins. So. Netflix will now win. I get to do this, <laughs> but I should probably. I know I should probably run soon. But, but let's um, get through. Okay, what's what are the next burning questions on the list? Do you have a favorite Eve skin? And technically, I made a chart that I don't think I saved. Actually, I think I may have saved it. Uh, so if you've seen any of her skins, oh, that is covering you in that video. Oh, yeah. If you've got a visual chart, I can probably tell you. Um, I off do. The top of my head, not. Oh, yeah, of course. I, I think, or at least I think I saved it. I think I saved it. If not, I can use one of my thumbnails. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Let's see what you got. Chart. I, want, I really hope I saved it. I'm going to be so mad at myself if I didn't. Like, I prepared for this for a reason. Uh, it's not in there. Made it, it's not in there. Okay, so we'll just use one of my... Yeah, we'll use my thumbnail. Um, okay. So, let's see. Is that too powerful for Discord? Ignore the tagline. It says, De uh, demon bitches in your area. Um, and this was from a video me and a few of my viewers did uh, on stream whenever it was one for all, which we were all Eve in the in game, which of course was my biggest fan. Nice. And those were the skins <laughs> nice. chosen. And you have far oh more God. skins than that. <laughs> so nice. out, I guess out of those, which one would be your favorite? I Let's so see. Do I need to look in the chat? Oh, I see in the chat. Okay. Yeah. Um, ooh. Uh, so oh, from man. Far left, you have Safe Cracker Eve, which gets a lot of flat cuss. Honestly, it's not her greatest skin. I have it because I'm a completionist. Uh, and of course, I kind of like it. It's kind of steampunk, right? That's yeah, it's giving nice. Catwoman, really. It's like, yeah, it gives Cat a lot of Catwoman. Now uh, I feel bad if I say that I, that's one of my top favorites. Oh, no, I have don't to feel bad. <laughs> I kind of dig, I, maybe it's the glasses that I'm digging, and I can only see a corner of it in this picture, but I'm so I, bad yeah, at myself. It's totally giving me Catwoman vibes. I love Catwoman, especially like Eartha Kit, OG Catwoman. Hell yes. yes. I do have to say, looking at this, it could be, if, it, if not that one, Coven or is the next one over KDA? Uh, yeah, that's the KDA All Outs, the uh, second version, which I prefer that yeah. one, the original. <laughs> Uh huh. I, I would. Ooh, I that... didn't save that. Oh god! I did not save my skin chart. <laughs> I worked forever on it, just trying to like. Wait, did I? Oh no, I didn't. Damn it! But yeah, you have like a tango line with you and uh, one other character, which is Twisted Fate. Uh, yeah, which is what set the lore off. We thought like they were a thing, and then Riot's like they've never actually met. It's just for the skin. I'm like, but he's the only one in that skin line, so they've met and they're together. That that is mom and dad now. 
The but Wyatt is so against it. They're like, no, they've never met. They're not a couple. I'm like, okay. oh no, they're oh the no, the only two in that skin line. Shattered. They've met. Yeah. <laughs> so if yeah, you I like agree. that one, you are more than welcome to like that one. I may even use it more now. <laughs> I kind of do. A- I think it's my Catwoman affinity. I, I dig it. It's Catwoman meets steampunk, kind of. I'm, I'm kind of, yeah. yeah. It's not I, like, it's not a bad skin, but it does pale in comparison, like, detail-wise and effect-wise. It doesn't really have much going for it in-game. But then again, really? from the splash arts, from the splash arts, like, they all, like, go down in quality in-game. Because there's only right. so much you can do with, you know, that tiny little model. So right. it's not bad. It's just not my it's favorite. Not that. Coven no, they're my favorite. I, I felt like amazing, but yeah, no, I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do like I typically do and fuck the trend and go against the green. <laughs> I'm going with her. Y'all what's heard it her, first. That that skin is now superior to every other Eve skin. Safe cracker one. <laughs> Safe cracker one is gonna have a comeback in 2021. You heard it here first. Fry is gonna make that into a prestige yeah. skin. <laughs> oh my god! So we have that answer. Um, uh, do you have a favorite voice line from your original set or the even oh, the man. set? And you don't have to do uh, it in your voice if you don't want to. No, I do it right. I haven't even done an at you voice yet. I, I gotta practice this. I gotta get used we- to. Okay. When you cut, when you were, when you answered the call and you got ready to cut on your camera and you said, I can't remember what you said, but I'm like, <laughs> I don't, it was something just so minute and so basic. I think you said, okay, here we are. And I was like, why does that sound just like, uh, you know, yeah, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like you like, so many awesome evil ones. right? I think my <laughs> God, I mean, it's so hard to pick a favorite because she really has some great snappy ones. Um, I do like, once again, a woman's left unsatisfied. There's that. Uh, Which one of your favorites? I can read it for you if you'd like. It's funny how that one's your favorite because that is the, (laughs) that's the, oh my God, the laugh. Oh God. (laughs) Oh, that's that's a tidbit a lot of people don't know. The some of the famous Eve laughs, those were not the ones that I think I deliberately gave out. They were literally mm-hmm. just me laughing in between takes. And I, there was just one day when I was laughing at something. Uh-huh. Um, and the laugh that you hear at the end of the very first rework reveal trailer, I think it's just called Agony's Embrace or mm-hmm. whatever. <laughs> Um, that laugh at the end, that little giggle, that was just me giggling at something someone said. And I remember, you know, a lot of the team was like, ooh, we might use that. <laughs> like, Wait a second. Was, you mean yeah. that light chuckle where she's like, <laughs> I can't do yeah, it that like, this horse. Like, that wasn't I mean, meant to be? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I swear that felt so planned. That felt <laughs> so planned. No, it was literally, I don't even know. I wish I had some great story about what we were talking about. I should probably bullshit and make something up, but no. <laughs> I don't remember what was happening. But yeah, I just remember I giggled at something. And I think it was um, uh, Amanda Wyatt who was voice directing me at the time. And it, she just kind of lit up and was like, oh. And I remember the team was kind of like, oh, that might be something. And the next thing I know, I heard it in the teaser. I'm like, okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. That's also my at one well before the Coven set came out like you uh, you I, I'm pretty sure you know what streaming is um okay. you know what streaming is that sounded so horrible um so one you of my, know that. my follower notification was that giggle because I was like okay th- I like it's not uh, like something I'll always hear in game when I'm playing her so I won't get it confused so I was like right hey, it's that so anytime you know like someone follows it's that light you know supple like chuckle. <laughs> And that wasn't even meant to be a thing. That's crazy. No, that's usually how it happens, right? The best things are totally, you know, improvised and unplanned. But yeah, I I could be remembering it wrong, but I'm almost a thousand percent. Like I would bet. I will believe it either way. (laughs) My unborn baby. That is so, (laughs) that's crazy. There's a laugh that you do. um, If you, if you've never played against yourself, 
if What's you that? go to charm uh, if you go to charm someone else and you don't yeah. proc the charm like attack after the charm is at its full at its highest um okay she gives off this really like blood curdling like laugh like oh i missed you this time but i'm gonna get you the next one or don't yeah. you know that was planned that was yeah. planned because it was like those were planned wow <laughs> all that the lab is just all so close like there's like like minor things that you'll like say or do i'm like wow i hear it in her voice it's great it's, wow wow and wow again um <laughs> what's a favorite line um but yeah, the line that you like, that's a ban line. It's like if they ban Eve and I get so upset when they do. I'm like, God, what the hell do I play now? Um, what does that mean? It's um, so like in champ select for draft pick or uh, ranked or whenever like the recent game mode Earth came out, there was uh, you can ban a champion so you don't have to worry about playing against them. So whenever... Oh. Like, if I have Evelyn locked in and someone yeah. chooses to ban her, that voice lineup, once again, a woman's left unsatisfied is oh her ban line. And I also That's think amazing. it's uh, her last caress line, if you didn't get the kill. I think that's that also. That's amazing. But yeah, that's her ban line. I'm like, wow, that's the favorite. <laughs> they get rid of you and you're like, that's my favorite line. That's crazy. That's <laughs> right, because I'm pouting that they won't let me play. Yeah. That is <laughs> my favorite line. I have too many. Uh, you know you've you got it. Okay, what's my have a, I love top all people. of your They're lines. They're like your top two or three. Uh, okay, top three. Um, From the Coven set. Oh, God, this is going to sound weird, but I'm gay, so it doesn't matter. Um, The I want to feel thee. Uh, that little Ooh. section on is amazing. Yeah. It's because they said in the video, they segued it from her demon shade uh, lines and it goes from my gods aren't here to save you to I want to feel me. I'm like, I need to feel me. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. That is so good. <laughs> It is so good. Well, if people are in the house now, they're going to think I'm crazy. It is so good. Uh, like, they gave you really good lines to read. I'm This entire interview is right? me just singing your praises. I'm, like, not letting you speak. Um, those voice lines were just everything. I'm like, Riot did was that with the wording and the writing, and she did that with the delivery. Do you have a method, a method for the delivery? Like, you, like... Or just read blank uh, words on paper and just do the best you can. It's pretty much the latter. I mean, yeah, every every actor is different in how they approach their characters. You know, some people are. I mean, oh God, I should know this off the top of my head. All the different schools of acting. I mean, kind of people ask what my what my method is, and it's just really all I can say is just. I I see the script, I know the character, I kind of take a breath, I lock in, and then then, then that's that. Then it, so that's not a, that's really not a great technique to pass on to any for any of you <laughs> budding inspiring your know, future voice actors. I'm sorry, that's like terrible advice. <laughs> just take a breath and lock in. But that's just kind of that's what I do. I don't know. I I just I don't know how else to describe it. It's like I mean, of course, it helps to see visuals sometimes, you yeah. know, if they've changed the skin or something um, or if they've kind of maybe illustrated, you know, her in a different way. It kind of gives me an idea in terms of the intensity. And of course, the wonderful voice directors always are, are helpful to let me know kind of where I need to land the writers, where I need to land in terms of how intense because I, I can go for it. Like sometimes I go too <laughs> you know, like when I'm when even being aggressive or even Sindel or something like I can yeah. be kind of like, oh. sometimes they're like, that's that's. <laughs> Pull that back thirty five percent, you know. So, Even though you're well, pulling back, those lines feel like still feel so damn powerful, and like that they packed a huge punch in game. Oh, I'm right. Like, oh, I'm so gonna right. destroy every last one of you bitches. It is over for all of y'all, and I want you to know that now. Like they, you pull, you may be pulling back, but it's like just railing everything forward. It's so good. I love, it. I love to so hear that. Yes, mission accomplished. You do really 
really good work. And I know I'm like Thank gushing you. over Eve and I know you've done so much more, but I like Eve. Oh, please. League, League, League is like my go-to game now. Um, totally. I've dabbled into Mortal Kombat when I was younger. Um, yeah. But I, I know like I went and watched a few clips of your Sindel and yeah. I it's like I can kind of hear it, but like if I didn't read it, like I wouldn't necessarily know if it was you because I'm so used to just you know listening to Eve. So I'm like, That's let me like cool. do my research That's before cool. I like tag her in this, and it's not her. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is totally me, and I love to hear that. Like I I love to hear. You know, because I don't, you know, every voice actor is different, you know, and some people, you know, there are many voice actors who have extraordinary careers and make a lot more money than me doing kind of the same or very similar sounding voices from character to character. Um, and I have some characters that definitely have some similarities. I mean, if you I, I've seen people do comparison videos of like. Eve and like Lisa and Genshin Impact and they kind of have a similar tone and you know because Lisa and Genshin is very flirty as well not in the same vein as Eve Eve's a lot more sinister and, <laughs> and Lisa's quite you know much more innocent and sweet so that's kind of where the two part ways but um for the most part I really like my characters to have their own worlds their own identities and their own you know, backstory as as they do and as they should. And so it's nice to hear that that comes through when people are like, oh, is that the same person? Because yeah. I don't want you to think it's the same person because it's technically not, right? You know, right, so. Right. It makes sense. Like, yeah. I, I haven't played Genshin, which I have it downloaded. I just, it, it just doesn't feel like my type of game just yet. Um, yeah, I mean, like, the fact that she went from voice and you know, a blood hungry succubus to this cutesy character in this cutesy ass game is so your talent is crazy. Oh Thank my, you. Wow. <laughs> ah. So wow, we've actually covered a lot. Uh this one was kind of random. Um, okay. Actually, no, it's not, because I like before, like during our Twitter interactions, actually, I did a little bit more research because I live in yeah. Texas. And I know oh. Joel, I know of Joel Olstein, and I have, you know, I used to live maybe a five minute walk away from his church whenever I lived in Houston. Wow. Um, yeah. So I know, I know of him very well. So I know that you voice things from like AT and T, you know, and stuff for him, and you know, Sindel, who is Illyria? Because it's on the list. Illyria Windrunner is uh, she is Sylvanas's sister in World of Warcraft. She is okay. a elf. She's a dark elf. I should okay. know this off the top, of my head, but yes, so she's she's a popular. <laughs> I should she's also popular. Know it. <laughs> okay, so... it's been a while since I've had an Illyria sessions, but yes, really, they don't update World of Warcraft often with voice lines. They they do they do and there have been a few things going on but of course we can't talk about anything until it happens so perfect that is perfectly fine so out of yeah. all of those and of course even some other ones that you, other ones that you've done which one has been the toughest to like find the character and the body of the voice to make it what it is now <laughs> honestly um I think one of my biggest challenges was, and this is gonna maybe sound weird because so far we haven't seen a lot of her yet, um, but Shula in Arcane, who's just mm -hmm. come out, um, I hadn't seen uh, any of the her artwork or anything like that. And so when they were describing her to me and and kind of, you know, describing, you know, she's kind of like this this councilwoman and and she's kind of the grounding force of the council and she's um, you know, she just doesn't really I'm used to my characters just kind of having a more, you know, I do a lot of boss bitches. You know <laughs> yes. I mean? just, yes, yes, right. yes, you do. Sindel's a right. God, she is so, so powerful and good. Right, you know what I mean? So so Shula's a lot more contained, and that was mm -hmm. a new it seems like that would be a lot easier, but that was a lot, it was kind of almost like, I don't know what to do with that because I I don't want to project too much and I don't want to give too much because she's not about that. She's kind of the calming 
grounding yeah. force and everything. And uh, once I saw, you know, the artwork, what she looked like, I'm almost glad that I didn't see because I think I might have gone in a slightly different direction of maybe because she's got this badass like Ring gold. Thing <laughs> There's like this gear collar and all of a sudden she's bald and she's like she's exotic. She looks amazing. You know, yeah. she looks like one of the um the uh Dora Milaje from from Black Panther, you know. So I <laughs> I think I went into a totally different vibe than I did had I seen what she looked like. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, as 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 basic as that sounds, I think she was one of the most challenging because I was just kind of like Wow. Oh, like I don't, I don't know how to get really juicy with her. I'm used to mm -hmm. kind of digging in and and finding that meat of something intense that I can kind of find. So it's been exciting to to dive into her and and figure out how to just yeah, you know, there's almost mm -hmm. more power, right? When you're just sitting mm -hmm. back and just being her the queen. Have been like very like subtle. Also, she, I mean, she she doesn't speak much, and but when she right. does, it's like. Y'all might want to listen to what she has to say. Right. And at the, when I tagged you in on Twitter, I don't remember what it was. I know they were discussing something. And yeah. hearing like her input on like that, whatever decision they were making, I'm drawing a blank. Everything went blank. Uh, no, I was, I was like listening so hard. And I had like my AirPods and I was like noise cancellation. I don't want to hear nothing else. And I was listening. I was like, I can hear her, but yeah. she's not making it obvious. And if I didn't... Right see that you were voicing her i would not have completely known it would have just been a hunch in the back of my mind yeah i've listened to some of your past interviews uh some of your uh some things that you voiced like in games of course Eve, yeah you know her voice in and out now um right so it's god this sounds horrible i know your voice pretty well and yeah yeah so for that one i was like wow she did a good ass job of disguising herself and the character, like, I wish we knew more about her because I want to know why the hell this gear thing on her moves and why, yeah. how is it moving? Um, I want to <laughs> know where she comes from. I want to know everything about her. But, of course, she's yeah. not the focus of Arcane. Yeah. She's I not. That would be a good show regardless, but... Hey, I mean, <laughs> like your senators and we can make some happen. <laughs> So it's it's nice to know that that more recent one was a tough one. I thought it would have been yeah. like as far as polar opposites of Sindel and like Eve. I thought Sindel would have been the hardest, and Eve would have been the more the more awkward. Sindel was what was a little tricky about Sindel was that I mean she's such an established character, right? I mean, and Sindel's been around for maybe twenty years. I don't yeah. know. Maybe I'm I have to dig into that. I'm not sure, but <laughs> she's been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. I think I think it what made it a little easier is that there have been multiple iterations of her in the past. Um, so I I felt like I had the freedom to kind of put my own stamp on it a little bit. And it's not like I went in going, I'm completely changing this character. It's not that. <laughs> I also didn't want to go in and just mimic exactly what had done be been done before. Yeah. Um you know, is in fact uh, one of the previous uh Sindels, uh the the amazing Lonnie Manella. If you're familiar with her work at all, I mean, you want to talk about a queen, like she's one of my VO heroes. She's Aww. just, I mean, you want to talk about power voice. This woman can do monster voices. She can do like just things that most women do not dare do behind a microphone. She's, she's just badass. So mm -hmm. when I heard I was kind of stepping in to, to those shoes, I'm like, I don't <laughs> know. I'm like, you know? So I knew I wasn't going to go in the exact direction that she went. Um, but I'm really so eternally grateful that the fans, I mean, I, I don't think I've I've seen a mean remark yet on what I did with her. So that that was like, thank God. You know, yeah, because it's a like, lot of a lot of the comments pertaining to anything else you've done always makes it back to Evelyn. <laughs> yeah, I see that a lot. The comments are like, wow, is she voiced Eve or wow, uh, uh, Eve sounds different here or something like that. I'm like, come on, she could be something else, and that's coming from me out of all people. She can be something else, but all of the comments just go straight back to Eve because I know, in my opinion, the most iconic character. That's amazing, <laughs> and I, I'm not mad about it, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's, it's totally fine. Yeah, and it's just, you never know what's going to reach people, and that's what I find so interesting because all of the characters I've done, you know, while the common thread that I tend to find amongst them is they tend to be 
leader types, they tend to be power women, which I love. That was a goal of mine when I got into voiceover. I didn't want to be a bunch of damsels in distress. Yep. <laughs> you uh, know, so I love <laughs> <laughs> You got me with that one line <laughs> that where she was like, help, I'm lost and barely clothed. And I was like, oh, I know she's freaking lying. She is lying. Don't fall for that. She's not weak. And yeah, you got me with that. Oh, really you're gonna get me to hear me say a line like that as if it's if it's Evelyn and quite like meaning like, that. No way. No, no. Nah. So totally. When I was like, uh, uh, help, I'm lost and barely. Glo-. I was like, you are a fucking lie. You are you are playing weak to get someone. You devil. You are so rude. <laughs> She's tricksy. She's a little that manipulative. Was very, very, very manipulative. And then the second part was like, help me, brave warrior. I'm like, oh, you are lying. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> like, there is no way anyone takes that seriously, right? Like, she's going to kill you, you know. No one's falling for that. We know your game. That one took the girl's me gotta out. try, right? Yeah. That one took me. I was like, there is absolutely no way. So this quest uh oh. I'm not sure if I should ask well, that one or not. You can ask and I'll tell you if I'll answer. I'll probably answer anyway, but I'll cut it in editing. I'll cut it. I'll cut it if it's a no. Um so and this is going to come off strange because I can relate if we have the same answer. And if we right? don't, then I've just exposed a little bit more about myself. Yeah. Has voicing Eve, actually, you probably answered this already because yeah. you said you just step in and you step out. Um, yeah. I'm going to assume the answer is no to has she affected your personality at, in, at all? Because I take a little bit of any character I play with me. If I already yeah. have something. So uh, absolutely. I would definitely say that is absolutely true. Um, you know, while I may quote unquote put it on the shelf, I do walk away from every character a little bit different and a little more because it's it's empowering to play some of these characters. I mean, y- yep. you have yes, to think about I mean, I, yeah, it really is. I, I think that's what I think that's part of Eve's appeal is you know, I don't know. How do I say this in a, in a, let it out. It, I don't know. I guess I'm just trying to figure out the, the most, what makes sense in my head. But Eve, like I said, what, what, what made me interested in taking Eve on is that it wasn't just about being some sexual creature, even though Maybe there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if we really look at feminine power and what some of women's most biggest strengths are, it's not necessarily in this masculine energy of fighting or being aggressive. Rah, you know, it's an internal come here, come hither sort of sexuality. Yeah. Right. It's feminine wiles. And, and I mean, you know, nothing beats, you know, P power. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, look at James Bond, right? James Bond can get through anything, but what gets him every time? Mm-hmm. P power, right? He gets he's like some woman sitting at the bar. She's like, oh, why don't you tell me about that? I'll go back to the hotel. Yep. And then the next morning, like he's drugged. She done stole the secrets. She got the microfilm, <laughs> you know? And it's like, so there, it just goes to show, I mean, there's power in that, right? Like mm-hmm. women across the world, like, you know, they have to be, you know, traditionally we've had to be covered up because heaven forbid if somebody sees our ankles because we're driving yeah. somebody crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when you realize that there is a lot of power in being a woman, we're not taught that. It is very hard. Be- I know it's hard being a man too. Don't get me wrong, but it is so I'm hard. To be- I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I recognize the struggle women deal with. I, oh God. I like everything you guys have to deal with and I'll, the majority, Crazy. all of it is unfair. So I 100% understand. Fair. I may not be absolutely, able to, you know, feel it, but I I understand because my mom is who raised me. You know, I, I'm raised by a single strong black yeah. woman. So yeah, 
I got you. <laughs> like, absolutely. Uh, she's my biggest like support, and women in Mine general too. make me feel better, which is I guess yeah, because I'm a gay man. But no, it's, my it's, best friends are all gay men. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it, it as long sense. as I can remember, I, I get it. No, I, it, it's so true. It's like, there, it's, it's an impossible box that we have to fit into. It's just like, you know, women are supposed to like suppress your sexuality until your wedding day. But then when you're, you're supposed to be a sex kitten, so you don't lose your partner and then and, and all this stuff. And it's just like, you know, and, and don't be too thin or don't be too big or never did like, there's no, you can never fit in the box. Like the, the goalpost is always changing to be a woman. And so like, don't even get me started. I'm not going to get on my <laughs> soapbox. But I think what I love about Eve is that she just embraces that unapologetically. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I know femininity can be a weapon and, mm -hmm. and I know how to use it and I'm not ashamed of it and I'm going to own it. And if you just happen to get sucked into it, <laughs> maybe Were you, you just could Oh, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, you know, maybe you should like, need to work on your name. Yeah, you might want to do a little soul. Oh, what soul? I've t she's <laughs> taken it. <laughs> it. It makes sense because, like, through my childhood, there's only, I guess, one, I guess, male icon that has stood out to me. And it's him from the yeah. Powerpuff Girls. The red, <laughs> the red lobster dude that i'm like i loved him and honestly that shaped a lot of what you see now him yeah um, uma thurman's ad adaptation of poison ivy in the batman and robin movie oh loved yeah loved her so much uh, yeah you're evelyn and uh eartha kitt's catwoman halle berry's catwoman what? not so much eartha. the way's catwoman <laughs> um yeah and, and it was great but yeah we we've got some other contenders <laughs> <Yeah>. there <laughs> so i totally like, agree powerful women truly do make the world go round in my eyes like you guys run the world bosses i'm telling you that's the thing a woman in her in her true truly in her power there's just no stopping i mean there's nothing exactly. more powerful Mm -hmm. And I love that concept. And when I got to dig into Eve, I, I had permission, right? I had permission to not only explore that side for myself, mm -hmm. but I felt a responsibility to do it to a thousand percent as much as I could, because I knew I'm representing for other people watching like you who are going to be inspired by, you know, if I'm not giving a hundred percent, um, you're, you're not going to necessarily get that message. You're not going to necessarily get that inspiration. And, yeah. and so it's, it's outstanding to hear you say that, that that's come across because I feel like so many women need to get that message. You know, I occasionally do very rarely. I, I just don't have the time right now or the energy, but occasionally I've done uh, private coaching for other voice talent and workshops. Um, and especially when I work with women, you know, I prefer to work with women just because I feel like women have they 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 need more assistance sometimes in catching up to the game you know men are taught from a very young age to be a man and be tough and be strong mm -hmm. women are taught to, you know it's better to be seen than to be heard and to sit back and be quiet and everything and then suddenly we want to become actors and it's like okay now give me everything and it's like well i i don't know how to do that i've never <laughs> work for me <laughs> Right. You know, i've spent all this time trying to be small mm -hmm. because that's what the world told me to do and so I take great delight in watching a woman get on the mic and, and having her start like, and then by the end, she's like, ah, you know, and I'm just like, yes, that's because you, we've all got it. Every, yeah. every woman alive has got that in there. You know, it's just a natural part of, of being powerful and feminine. Um, but we're not taught how to do it right, in my opinion. And so I think Eve is is a pretty cool icon in in bringing that out in people. So you know, male, female, non-binary, whoever you are, it's it's just that's what gets my juices going is to hear that that came across for someone. It is you know? a great feeling that you provide to not just like I said myself. Uh, <laughs> I may not be one hundred percent good at your character, but like I'm the biggest fan of the character hands down. Like look where look where it got me. Ha. <laughs> But one hundred percent, you your voice is just your. Uh, you can just feel the love and the power that you put into it, and yeah. 
uh, like I, I don't know how to say anything besides ah, uh, which is strange, but. Okay, let me not ramble because I can't even get my words together. <laughs> oh God, um, I think I may it's make the this power the last of one. <laughs> I may make this one the last one because I went. Yeah. For, uh, a, I guess I can call him a friend. Uh, he can be called a friend. Um, so <laughs> Eric Dota, who is a popular league streamer, who played yeah. Evelyn mid. And made it work because that's not meta at all. Eve is not necessarily not necessarily supposed to work in any lane outside of the jungle, but he did that. He made it work, right. and it was a great wow. video to watch. He wow. asked, um, "Do you randomly speak in any of the voices you've done? Not just Eve, because I asked that one, but uh, any of your voices, just for shits and giggles." Maybe after a couple of shots of tequila, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But like when I'm like brushing my teeth and shit, no, not really. <laughs> I'm the only weirdo here. <laughs> you are totally weird. Yeah, I will be like, driving and just randomly spell some shit out. I'm like, <laughs> just at, at random. I'm like, there is great power in the lust of mortals, or you know, when I'm being promiscuous and off to a hookup. Um, it's like, uh. Men's hearts are clouded by want, want of me, want of everything, just like to hype my own damn head up. So, oh, I'm the only weirdo here. This is what I mean. I may not be good at your character. Well, I'm good, but I may not be the best at your character, but I am the biggest fan of your character and you oh as a whole. So everybody oh. else can be like Diamond, Grandmaster, Eve, Eve, uh, Eve players. I got the interviews, so I won <laughs> overall. <laughs> Especially since you said you're not so easy to reach. I won. I'm not. I'm not. And I'm sorry if you've tried to interview oh, no. me. Other, several of you, I know, I, you, you probably in my inbox or my DMs, and I'm sorry. I'm working on it. <laughs> like, I was, like, my friends were like, well, when are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? I'm like, I'm not going to bother her. My nerves are shot as it is. I'm not going to just keep bugging her. So I was like, whenever I see her acting, right. I'll get out of my head and ask. And I remember you said a Saturday or a Sunday and hallelujah, yes. it's the Lord's day. And I was free. Thank God you were free. when I took up now an hour and 30 minutes of your time. Oh. Um, yeah, this is, this is everything. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. And I'm so glad to know, like I said, it just, it means the world to me to know that what I have in my head when I'm, you know, standing behind that mic is, mm -hmm. you know, I really do love Eve and all of the characters that I play. And I try to give, I mean, I, I leave it all at the mic. You know what I mean? I try to give blood, sweat and tears <laughs> into that player so that you can walk away feeling something. And so to know that that's coming across at least a little bit is just like biggest gift I can get. So thank you. It comes off so well. And I thank you for the time that you've spent, you know, however many times you may have had to re-record a line or, you know, go stronger or, you know, pull it back a little bit or anything you've had to do to give us what we have now. It, I am so appreciative because if I wasn't playing her. I actually don't think I'd be playing league at all. <laughs> Like wow. none of the other characters just hit me as hard as Eve does, and it's you know more than her tatas are out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's it's more than that for me. It's the power yeah. and yeah the confidence because you truly do give me a lot of confidence. Oh man, that's everything. That is everything. Thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> um. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed this sit down. Um, long time coming. I know I kept hyping it up. But I was like, I'm not going to bug her. Let her come to me or let me make sure she's not busy and, you know, make sure my mental's right. Make sure she's in a great yeah. mental space. And we got it. We did it. We this got it. The Stars best video on line. my channel. She won't, I won't <laughs> have her volume low. Everything is perfect. I, Everything was great. This was so good. Um, in the end of, well, I, I actually don't know what to call it, but the little ending videos that all the actors actors did for the KDA era, like you. Yes. Did, yeah, 
that one um it was also great to hear your voice there because i didn't think they would do anything like that that was a surprise um, right do you have anything to say as a closing to your fan base oh my god what did on I the say? spot on the spot i know but right <laughs> it doesn't no have to be script. like that no it doesn't have to be that it's just anything because i think I i'm trying to i almost remember it i right let's see it was uh Mm. I remember, I remember like the last half of it. Keep trying on new forms and doing wherever and following wherever it leads. You fabulous little <laughs> creatures. <laughs> I'm so happy you did that because I know a friend of mine was like, can you please tell her to say something to her fabulous little creature? <laughs> I'm like, if I don't forget, I yes. You. So... <laughs> There we have it. Uh, what's his at on Twitter now? Sir Evelyn is his at now because he changes screen names like every damn week depending on what Riot is putting out or with Arcane now. I so love it. You go. I love it. Um, again, I appreciate you for giving me this hour and 35 minutes. And oh, pleasure is mine. Let me have it. It was absolutely everything. And you've honestly just made the rest of my year and actually my, my year as a whole. Um, Aww. I appreciate it so much. Oh, um, it I'm is so sweating. much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still sweating. I'm like praying when I walk out, like no one's downstairs and they heard me like holler because yeah, they understand what I do up here, but I don't want to explain right? it. So <laughs> on that note, I'm going to cut this and I will see you guys whenever I decide to edit another video outside of this one. So thank you. And how do you say your name? Because I said Mara, but I think earlier you said Mara. Don't worry. I answer to anything. Just don't call me late for dinner. But it is Mara, like Sarah. I tell people Mara, like marijuana. So receive the shock value stick. Sometimes it works. It usually does. So you can call me whatever you want, but it is Mara. Okay, well, it was so nice to finally meet you, even virtually. I'm fine with any of it. It happened, Aww. and I'm so grateful. And I wish you nothing but the best of luck in your career. Thank you. And Thank hopefully you. we hear more of you from Riot. I'm going to need Riot to get on that. Like pronto, I want more. <laughs> um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh, you do the same. You. And you guys as well. I love you all, you fabulous little creatures. Bye-bye now. I <laughs>